Pinching myself, Stan the Man, Guinness in Vancouver, back here at the Library Square, and we have just watched Arsenal win a football match. Yeah! <laughs> First day of the new year, and we've actually seen a win by the Arsenal. Here's our match reaction, it's Arsenal 2, Man United 0. And um, to begin with, we've got a young lad, this is Kyle, and Kyle, Kyle's mum, she brings him down to the pub for almost every game, right? So that you can watch the Arsenal play. Where did you travel down from? Surrey. Surrey. Yeah. So how far is that from you? About 35 minutes. Yeah, 35 minutes in the yeah. car, yeah? Well, we take the Sky Train. Oh, you take the Sky Train? Yeah. Okay. So, we've got a win today. Yeah. Yeah? What did you think of the lineup? I thought there was a stronger side up when we played. Uh, lots of our defenders were injured. Played the last match. Uh, he played well, but uh, I thought he was going to be a good player. Yeah. But, uh, and we brought on Saturday and I thought he played really well. So look, coming into this game, with, you know, what did you, on a, on a place like current form, what did you think the score was going to be before, before the game? I thought we'd win like 1-0. Yeah? Yeah. Because I was saying that I, I thought that we'd be lucky to get a draw, myself. VJ? Hey, that's a miss. What did you think of the first half? Uh, the first half, we were really brilliant. Like, um, even last game, we started with a front kick. Like, we were playing, attacking. Like, yeah. not like we were trying to wait for them to make mistakes or trying to gauge their play before coming on and play like how we were doing under Una Emery but now with Arteta we are going on like trying to attack the game like from the get go get our plan in place and let, let the other team deal with it and that's what we try to do and uh, I thought Arteta also made like a few changes like because in Chelsea game we had that um, you know, where people were, run, were like running in fumes in the second half after 15 minutes, yeah. everyone was tired. The Chelsea game tired. for me, second half at about 60 minutes, there was a lot, there was a lot of players that yeah. were kind of breathing out of their arsenal. Yeah, they? yeah they, didn't, they were looking tired, so Arteta kind of made it like, we, didn't, we are not going to press from, from the front, but from the half line. Like if the ball crosses our, into our half, let's press and let, let them keep the ball at their half unless there's like an opportunity for us to grab. So that kind of saved our kind of like, you know, the energy. That's why I thought like Oja and Albania were able to push on for the 90 minutes. So that was a really good game. And I thought as well, going into the first half, we could have been like maybe three? We could easily have been five oh, up. Yeah. Could have been five. We had Aubameyang's volley that just went over the net. Yeah. We had Lacazette getting free in the box, running in and then shanking his shot wide when he really should have scored that ball. Little Torreira. Little Torreira missed the post by that much. Yeah, just by that is. much. Pepe and then the Pepe hit the post. Yeah. Going back to what he said about only pressing up front when we had the chance, that was Lacazette taking the ball off the goalkeeper's feet yeah. that yeah. made that. That was probably the only time we pressed their keeper in the game, but it was timed perfectly and we nearly got a goal out of it. Yeah. So what was the high points for you in the game? High points? Oh my goodness, there were so many. Um, Pepe scoring from open play. Yeah, yeah. Love to see that. Yeah. Love to see that. Yeah. Um, the effort that was put in by Lacazette before he got hurt and had to come off, he absolutely played his socks off. Yeah. The, the absolute game-long highlight for me, though, was Mesa Ozil is back. Yeah. I thought he was absolutely outstanding, 10 out of 10 today. Every ball he made was a good ball. The only time the ball ever got away was when it was too good for our own players. And he was on for the full 90. Well. He was. He got the full 90 in and he was running just as hard at the end as he was at the beginning. So we've had two games now where Mesut Ozil's put in quite a good performance, is fair to say, right? Yeah. yeah. Actually, three games. I three think games. Even, even the Bournemouth game, he, Bournemouth he, game. Yeah, he, yep. he did play well. Yeah. And I, I also want to bring like attention to the centre-backs. Yeah. Yes. Really good. And especially with uh, with the passing, they've been like yeah. doing all the upfield passing, which was really good. Yeah. And stuff just, like, it's explicitly sideways. Louise. Yeah. Louise. Louise's long balls today were spot on. He laid it 60 yards and put it on a dime. Yeah. Yeah. Let, me, let me bring yeah. in the big man at the end there, Choppers. What do you think? I thought David Louise was our man of the match today. Uh, yeah. He basically put on a captain's performance. He marshaled our defense. 
And I think it was one of his best games I've seen him play in the last one shirt. Sure. Did you notice at the beginning? It was almost game? like it was 10 years ago. Did you notice in the huddle at the beginning before kickoff? He was the one who was doing all yeah. the talking in the huddle. It was all David Lewis. Yeah. It wasn't a uh, Jacker. It wasn't a Birmingham who was wearing the armband. It was Paul David Lewis. And they all about to buy into it as well. Yeah, and that's why I said I thought he was our captain today. Like he played, he marshaled the defense, and he went uh, uh, full ball the whole 90 minutes. Not only that, but he would give, you know, the United players who have been, you know, uh, Nick Lee with all their fouls and so on, but he was giving them back as good as he got. And he was he was right up for today. He, he played brilliantly. So in a few games under Mikel Arteta now, are you liking what you're seeing? Are you seeing some gradual incremental change, you know, improvements? Not gradual, I'm seeing massive yeah. improvements. Uh, what I saw against Chelsea, we were robbed in that match. It was really, really poor referee. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. player should have been off. Yeah. Uh, they should have been down to 10 men and we would have won that game. So we were, those three points were stolen from us. And then we were even back today. And that first half is probably the best first half I've seen Arsenal play all year. Yeah. Would you agree with that? Yeah. 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 They could have been up five now, yeah. uh, for sure. So, we're feeling quite positive moving forward now because the next game we've got is on Monday in the Cup against Leeds. Yeah. So, it's probably going to be a lot of rotation. Uh, yeah. I don't know if there's a few players that might be back, like Martinelli, who might get a stiff. Yeah. I think we'll see Martinelli. Uh, if we're lucky, Bellerin might get a, a short yeah. rack at 45 minutes. Holding. Uh, Sabalas and Holding will both play for sure. Yeah. So, but, uh, holding was stripped down at one point. Yeah, today. I thought yeah. he was coming on. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, Triple Torreira and Lacazette took Knox and we couldn't put him on. But yeah, we'll see them. Uh, I was surprised to see Kolasinac back today because all the news reports said he was out until the middle of January. Yeah, yeah. But it looks like he's knacked himself again, though, doesn't it? It does, yeah. yeah. It does. Hopefully, uh, we, uh, he won't play on Monday against Leeds. Hopefully, that'll give him two weeks to get himself fit again. Who we got up after uh, Leeds? You know? No. Any Arsenal? Because Palace? Okay, Palace away then. And then Sheffield at home along the RBA. Okay. Oh, yeah, go oh I'm going to that one, yeah. Okay. We're hitting, we're hitting our stride just I'm going to be here on Monday to watch the match. And before I came down here, I was talking to Mark about what it was like. Leeds were like between like 1968 and 1974. I mean, Arsenal and Leeds, those were the two big games uh, in, the, in the season uh, before Liverpool got into uh, you know, being the best in the world at the time. But I remember the battles then. I remember the 1972 FA Cup final like it was yesterday. Right, yeah. You know, but those battles there with Peter Lorimer, Billy Brenner, Johnny Giles, it was unbelievable in Arsenal. Unbelievable matches. You know, skill versus dirty tactics, <laughs> even then. So look, I'm going to wrap it up here, guys. We've had a good win today. Um, you've heard what we've got to say. But look, if this is your first time coming by Karen for the TV, subscribe. And you've heard what we've had to say. Go down into the comments. We want to hear what you've got to say. Whether you agree with what we're saying or whether you don't, we want to hear from you. And look, it's a new year. It's a new decade. We've got a new manager. He looks like uh, we're moving in a step in the right direction. So we'll be back uh, next week after the Leeds game. Up the Gunners. Up the Arsenal.